Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today from the topic of logarithms. And we are continuing the series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question is from this topic and the question which is given to us tells us that let X naught and Y naught be the solution of the two equations. And the two equations that are given to us is 2x raised to log 2 to the base e that is equal to 3y raised to log 3 to the base e and the second equation which is given to us says 3 raised to log x to the base e is equal to 2 raised to log y to the base e. So these are the two equations here you can see x and y are the variables and the solutions are x naught and y naught. We have been asked to find the value of x naught here. So basically, we need to find the value of x by solving these two equations. And the four options that are given to us in this tells us a is 1 by 6, b is given 1 by 3, c is given 1 by 2, and the last option that is given to us is 6. So we have to find the correct answer among these four options. Let's understand how do we proceed further in this two equations which are given to us and how do we find the value of x naught here. So first equation if I write it 2x raised to log 2 to the base e is equal to 3y raised to log 3 to the base e. Now first thing what I can do here is take logarithms on both sides. So first thing if I do that it becomes log 2 comes in the base with log of 2x and here you get log 3 again in the base with log of 3y. Now what it happens here is log 2. Log 2 into x. So whenever it is product of the two terms I can write that separately as log 2 plus log x. Because we know that log a plus log b can be written as log of a into b. So I can separate this like that. Log 3, log 3 plus log y. Now, further I can write this as log 2 squared plus log 2 into log x. That is equal to log 3 squared plus log 3 into log y. So we get one type of equation. So let's mark this equation number 1. We need to find the value of x, right? So from the second equation, we will try to frame y in terms of x. And whatever we get in terms of y here, we'll substitute in the first equation. So we get rid of this variable y and we'll have our entire equation in terms of x. So let's do that. So if I write the second equation which was given to me, that's at 3 raised to log x is equal to 2 raised to log y. Now if I take logarithms here also on both sides, so taking logarithms on both sides, what do you get here is log 3 log x is equal to log 2 log now, whenever you have log of a raised to b, what happens is this power you can take it out in the front as the base. So your equation becomes log x, log 3 is equal to log y. Now I can write this as log x, log 3 upon log 2. That is equal to log y. So this becomes your equation number two. So you have equation one, you have equation two. Now you can write this entire log y in the equation one in terms of this, that log y is equal to log x into log three upon log two. So your equation now becomes, let's see. So if I write that, so putting log y
is equal to log x into log 3 upon log 2 in 1. Let's understand what it becomes now. So your first equation will become log 2 the whole square. It is as it is log 2 the whole square plus you have log 2 into log x. So log 2 into log x is equal to log 3 the whole square plus log 3 into log y. So instead of log y, you can write it as log x into log 3 upon log. So again, you get log 3 into log 3. That will also become log 3 the whole square. So log 2 the whole square. Now what I can do here is I can take out or I can make the terms of log x taken on the one side together. So if I want to take it on the one side, I'll take it here and I'll take this term without log x on the left hand side. So it becomes log 2 the whole square minus log 3 the whole square is equal to. You get here, this is in the plus part. So log 3 the whole square upon log 2 into log x minus log 2 into log now, if you see here, what you get is log 2 the whole square minus log 3 the whole square is equal. Here, I can take out log x, log x common. So, from the right hand side, if I take out log x common, what you get here is log 3 the whole square upon log 2 minus log. Now, I do not have log 2 here in the base. So, what I will do here is I will multiply both sides by log. So, now what happens is you get the expression as log 2 the whole square minus log 3 the whole square is equal to log x. Now, you have a separate denominator as log 2. And this expression becomes log 3 the whole square minus log 2 the whole square. Now you get it as log 2 square minus log 3 the whole square is equal to. So now what I can do here is I can take out that log 2 on the left hand side. So it goes in the numerator. You have log 2 plus square minus log 3 the whole square is equal to log x. And further you have log 2 square minus log 3 square. So if I want to adjust this entire expression in this terms, what I can do here is I can take out minus sign common. So once I take out that minus sign common, your term becomes log 2 the whole square becomes positive and log 3 the whole square becomes negative. Why I have taken that minus out? Because I can make this entire term same. And when I make this entire term same, I can directly cancel this. Because if I'm going to bring this on the left hand side, it will get divided and this expression will cancel itself. So you get log x is equal to this. Now if I want to write or if I want to find x, I don't need log x. So what I can do here is I can take out log x is equal to log of 2 raised to minus 1. Because this minus 1 which is present here the base can be taken as the power. So now if you see log A is equal to log B, then you say A and B are equal to each other. So you get from here x is equal to 2 raised to minus 1. And when you have 2 raised to minus 1, basically that becomes 1 upon 2 raised to 1. Or I can also write that as 1 upon 2. So you get the value of x as half a. Right? So you were asked to find the value of x only in this question. So x not which you get the solution as. So that's why you get the answer for the question of x not as half. And if you see the option that matches here is C. So C is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So if I take a short summary, first thing what we did was took log on both sides. So we got one equation in terms of log x and log y. Second equation, again, if I took log on both sides, you again got an equation in terms of log x and log y. 
So from the second equation, I equated and found out log y in terms of log x. Once I got that, I substituted log y in terms of log x in equation one. And further solving, we had only one unknown that was log x everywhere, right? And once we solve that, we got log x becoming equal to minus log two. That gave me x as I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the prep of IIT JWD Advanced. Thank you.